All right, guys, welcome to the channel. We're in Fremont, Ohio, and we're at the Smith Cemetery. We've already started, so we're going to get right back at it. All right. Well, so we're up to here. We don't like much, so it'd be about 20, 25 minutes, maybe. I don't know. Somewhere, it depends on how fast it goes. But anyways, here we go. This is going to be Bermuthal Hollinger. Died May the 12th, 18... It looks like 49 to me at 57 years. Then we have Lois A. Hunts, the wife of B. Hollinger, died, it looks like May the 15th, 1865. She was 80 years and three months. Then we have Joseph Clark, and she died, I mean, he died, June the 11th, 1876. I think it says he's 48 or 18 years old. I can't tell really. Then when the next one ain't gonna be able to tell because it's on the ground. Then we have Snyder. We have William, 1855 to 1941, and Margaret, 1856 to 1936. Then we have Snyder again. We have Clarence D, 1881 to 1884, and Ida M, 1878 to 1881. Rest in peace, little ones. Then we have. This one right here, and it's going to be Hollinger, and it's going to be Jacob Hollinger, September the 30th, or no, 29th, 1829 to July the 6th, I want to say 1906. Then we have Jacob, uh, he's the son of him, uh, February 28th, 1860 to July the 30th, uh, 1925. And then she's right over here. It's Sophia. And I can't tell nothing about Sophia. She's too in the far in the dirt. There it is, guys. On that stone up there. Then we have... Uh, well, let's get this one. Is this not a good looking one right here, guys? Look at this one. And that's going to belong to Samuel Height, 1832 to 1907. And Rachel A. Burner. His wife, 1830 to 1912, but that is a beautiful stone right there. Awesome. All right, let's move on. And that's going to be Ida. And the only thing I tell about Ida is she died July the 8th, 1888, on that stone right there, guys. All right. Then we have Cyrus L Lefford. 1851 to 1922, and Susanna, his wife, 1852 to 1930 on that stone right there. Then we have uh, Van Vanshaw, or Van Vanshaw, or however you pronounce it. And that's going to be Jacob, 1838 to 1906, and Adeline, 1843 to 1923. There you go, the stone right there, guys. Good looking stone. Then we have... Bam Bam and Schiffler, or Chef Schiffler, Daniel, June the 23rd, 1860 to July the 16th, 1941. Susie, April the 7th, 1860 to March the 2nd, 1908, I think. Then we got Laura A. I'm not sure. Gaiman Schiffler, 1870 to 1945. Then we have Van and Shaw again. 1845 to 1934, they go to that stone right there. And then you have John, 1847 to 1916, he goes to that stone as well. He's a Civil War veteran. Then we have Emma R., she's the wife of E.S. Florida, died uh, September the 24th, 1894. She was 24 years, 5 months, and 25 days. Then we have Mildred R., she's the daughter of W.A. and C.N.E. Grossward, February the 5th, 1892 to October the 9th, 1904. Then we have Edith L. Shaw, 1879 to 1939 on that stone. Then we have Shaw, uh, Shaw again. We have Valentine Shaw, 1839 to 1919. And Rebecca, his wife, 1836 to 1914. Then we have William Shaw, 
1873 to 1944. That one right here was a Civil War veteran. Then we have Isaac Shaw on his stone right here. He died March 29th, 1899. He was six, uh, 56 years, two months, and four days. And he's a war veteran as well. Then you have Lavin, Lavenda or something like that. Isaac's wife, September the 2nd, 1896. She was 49 years, three months, and 29 days on that stone right there. Then you have Myers. You have John R. Myers, 1839 to 1916. And he was a Civil War veteran. And Barbara, his wife, 1839 to 1928 on that stone right there, guys. And then we have... Stein. We have George W. Stein. November the 2nd, 1863 to June the 27th, 1839. And Ida, November the 29th, 1868 to February the 13th, 1897 on that stone right there, guys. All right, then we have, I got about two more rows. We have Shaw again, we have Levi, 1844 to 1932. Mary, his wife, 1852 to 1918 on that stone, right there. Then we have Mowry, right here. That's gonna be Michael Mowry, 1854 to 1932. It's gonna be I'm not sure on the name. Keegan Mowry, 1856 to 1931. And it's going to be, right here, it's going to be Blanche B, 1882 to 1967. And Lewis, 1882 to 1964. They got that stone as well. Then we have a shawl here. And it's going to be Ellen. 1857 to 1944. It's going to be John, 1855 to 1922. And it's going to be uh, Wilmer E, 1888 to 1955. And Goaty, Shaw Fairbanks, 1891 to 1971. They go to that as well. All right. Then. We got just a few more. Then it's going to be Brown. Then it's going to be Mose Brown, 1842 to 1906. Then it's going to be Sarah, 1845 to 1918. Then it's going to be Dundor. And it's going to be John Dundor, April the 17th, 1818 to April the 17th, uh, 1898. He was 80 years old. Elizabeth, his wife, died August the 30th, 1899, at 77 years, 4 months, and 18 days. Then we have, we're on our last of it, guys. We have Keegan. We have George W. Keegan, 1824 to 1904, and Elizabeth Posery, his wife, 1832 to 1922. That's a good-looking stone right there. I like that one. And then they had somebody, I thought, right here. No, maybe not. Was it here? Yeah, here. It's Barbara. That's their daughter. And 1852 to 1853. Rest in peace, little one. All right. Then we got a few more right here. And we'll be done. We have Gross right here. You're not going to be able to read them. They're too far in the dirt. But there they are. He's a Civil War veteran on that stone right there. Then we have Walter. It's going to be John Walter, April the 30th, 1819 to July 22nd, 1903. Catherine, his wife, April the 9th, 1827 to August 23rd, 1911 on that stone right there, guys. All right. Then we have Perman. It's going to be William, 1875 to, to 1968. And it's going to be, I'm not sure on the name, uh, 1836 to 1942. All right. Uh, then we got Warner. We have Mary Warner, 1837 to 1919. 
And then we have Colum or something like that. And you can't tell his. But they go to that Warner stone right there. All right. Then this one here, I don't know if we're gonna be able to read it or not. I can't see it. Y'all might be able to with the phone. There it is on that one. He's a Civil War veteran. And then she's over here and I can't see it either. There it is on that one. All right. And this is gonna be a child, more than likely, that died August the 30th, 1890 at the age of one year, 11 months and 17 days on that stone right there. Then you got John Wise. He was born September the 11th, 1827. He died February the 27th, 1891. He's 63 years, five months and 16 days on that stone right there. Let's see if his wife's on there. And she is, it's gonna be, uh, I'm not sure of her name. Anyway, she died, uh, I can't tell. It's right here and I can't see it. She was born, uh, what? July the 25th, 1830, but I don't know when she died on that one right there. There it is. All right. Then we have probably another child on this one. It's right here. Died April the 2nd, 1894, 15 years and 26 days. So it was a teenager. All right. Then we got a Smith here. And the rest of them are newer, so we're not going to land on them, guys. And this is probably the last one. It's going to be Alfred Smith, 1858 to 1908. And Alice, his wife, 1857 to... Ooh. All right, guys. That's going to pretty well wrap it up here. We, believe it or not, we ran all through all that. Believe that? I know it went a little fast. Sorry about that. But the rain's on its way. And don't know how quick. So I was trying to get done. But appreciate you watching. Please share, like, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, peace. We're out of here.